Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Thank you so much for visiting me today. I've got a little bit different type of craft for you today. Uh, I'm gonna make a perpetual calendar for myself and I hope you will join me. I will have a few designs, simple designs for you. If you wanna use them, it's totally up to you. They are for free. Link will be down below. Don't be afraid to click on it because it's it's for public and it will be for free if you wanna download it. There will be design which will be on kind of like aged paper and then also design without on white i mean on white background so you can use it for your uh, decorative papers if, if you want to use it on different uh, color of papers uh, before i will start i have to apology uh, in last few videos i made a big big, big boo boo i forgot to add that in the description box below all kind of supplies i used I, it was just because i was quite hurry with posting or those videos i post them before i fly home and uh, i was i was a little bit chaotic so i'm very sorry i forgot to add that all those uh, informations i will have to go back watch those videos because i don't remember what kind of if informations i supposed to put in the description box below so i will add it there and i'm really sorry for confusion so for today i've got here these three designs uh, the most important is this circle number it uh, rectangle and these will be like a frame on the top and background which will holding that circle one i hope it will work i didn't try it yet uh, i just designed it hopefully that will work uh, i'm gonna glue these designs on a chipboard I want to make it a little bit more strong, so I'm going to use this, I think it's one millimeter, uh, one millimeter thick chipboard, if I'm not mistaken. It's not too heavy, uh, it's easy to cut, but it's strong enough to hold uh, those designs. So I'm going to first cut this rectangle as it is. I'm not gonna cut the numbers separately because this will be a, like uh, that monthly calendar. So this all a rectangle, then the circle. So I have cut all these pieces, uh, including this teeny mini small frame. I cut uh, two of these. One is with that small uh, frame inside. One is without, but will be backside. And now I'm going to reinforce every single of those pieces with that chipboard. So I'm going to take each of one and glue it on that chipboard and cut it again. So I do have all pieces uh, backed with that chipboard. And I didn't cut the inside yet. So here with the knife it will take a little bit longer time and I have to put my head over it. So it will be not on camera. But here I will cut the... Um, it's not rectangle but nearly rectangle inside this one that kind of like oval rectangle this will stay still here I'm gonna cut uh, the circle inside uh, and choose is up to you you can cut here this line or you can cut this line it's totally up to you but that circle inside I'm gonna cut off here I'm gonna cut the rectangle it inside i'm gonna cut it off and here in both i'm gonna cut that uh, square inside and here are my pieces i've got full that rectangle with the numbers full one of these square pieces i've got one with this kind of like window i've got two frames one mini frame <coughs> pardon me oh shoot and I do have, ah, <laughs> pardon me. And I do have that rectangle inside, recta uh, rectangle, rectangle, uh, circle, <laughs> sorry. Inside circle cut off. Uh, I choose that inside, uh, inside line to navigate me. And to make sure, I'm going to keep this, to make sure I can move this around. I'm going to use my, um, this one, file, nail file. And I'm gonna a little bit 
it's kind of like sand that inside <coughs> pardon me oh what's, what's that inside circle and also i'm gonna uh, use this file for the edges of the frames to make them uh, look worn and vintage and i will probably use my sewing machine for one of these frames which one i want to use on the top i think this one it will be here and this will be here yeah i want to use this on the top so this frame i will also add sewing all around not on that bottom one because there can't be uh, you know any, any anything what will kind of make it harder to move uh, move apart for this small frame so i'm gonna use my file and sand the edges on this top frame and sand the inside circle and probably also sand the edges of these large uh, large pieces to make them a little bit worn and look more vintage and more neat so i do have prepared probably all my pieces the way i want this will be on the top here and uh, not all pieces i totally forgot i need to cut from that chipboard uh, from the leftover of that chipboard i need to cut two strips and they will be uh, not wider than these so i can take i think i can take measurement from this one this will be on the bottom just gonna have a look yes i did measure this one right so i'm gonna take a measurement here and it is hmm, i will say i'm gonna cut three eighths of inch not bigger because that will be too big so three eighths of inch two strips and in the size yes three eighths of inch by five and one quarter where is my hold this one I'm gonna cut this straight and here because it's small part I'm gonna make a mark so that will be I think the most easy way so three eighths of inch it's here one more time And I'm gonna cut two strips and then five and one quarter. One and five and one quarter. So I do have my two strips. I do have two frames. One will be on the top. And also because it will be perpetual calendar, I wanna have their kind of like frame which will which will be telling me which day is right now and that frame i need to hold on something so i was thinking i'm gonna use acetate piece acetate strip and uh, i will use that acetate strip uh, to hold it on that top frame and also part of acetate strip this one this small piece I will be wrapping around this this uh, longer one and that will be moving my frame so what i've got here i've got strip i think it's half inch yes half inch wide uh, yeah half inch wide and i've got that strip long enough to wrap it around my frame like this and fold it over and here i'm gonna glue it glue it together here so 
So here I'm going to put a double sided tape. Piece of double sided tape. I think I'm going to place it on that end here. Oops. And it's already there. It's holding nicely. Good. So I'm going to wrap that acetate piece around my top frame and here I will try do not make it too tight because I want to move it up and down or, or on that frame and do not glue it to the frame so this way I should be able to move it up and down and now another piece of acetate I'm gonna wrap around this acetate piece like this here it's quite long so I'm gonna cut it off because it's really too long Oi, my frame and I will need to somehow clever way adhere acetate strip and I'm gonna just check this the acetate double sided tape so I can put double sided tape here inside hopefully that will don't make any kind of you know uh, terrible shades because I still want to see I still want to see the number I will see if this will be possible if not I'm gonna cut it off and think about something else something different so I do have double sided tape here and also fold it on that top oh! Not yet. I should I should wrap it around that acetate. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it here before I will glue it. <laughs> okay, so wrap it here, glue it down, and now here, hopefully, will I be able to see still see the numbers? I'm gonna place my frame. on it mm, it's not perfect the double sided tape makes their kind of like shade so now I can put a glue here on this side and here on this side and glue it to my bottom frame like this just on these two sides because these have to be clear have to be free to make it able to move that acetate strip frame to frame I'm gonna clip it together and let it dry now I'm gonna take <clears throat> the circle we do have December so I'm gonna place the December here and to make sure that I will be on the right spot with everything else I'm gonna clip it together here on the top gonna flip it over I'm gonna put the glue on the circle which I cut off before and I'm gonna glue it inside I 
and I'm gonna put a glue again on same circle be careful do not put glue on that ring around I'm gonna clip it off take this one and make a nice position of that back piece and put some weight on it and let it dry I have to go back make sure you will don't put too much glue uh, on uh, to the edges because then you will glue your ring and that ring have to be movable and also I totally forgot uh, it's good because I will have it this way this way yeah so it's good on the back uh, punched kind of like entries so I nearly punched one side so then I cut it with my scissors flip it over draw it uh, here and cut it with my scissors again because it has that chipboard and it's not that easy to cut it with the paper punch so this should be movable very easy very easily just uh, twist it around that ring uh, around that inside circle if you can't uh, move it easily use your nails or use the bone folder and kind of like press it from here press it inside to make that circle a little bit smaller to make them their room for your ring yeah hopefully this will be good and I can't put there too much glue otherwise I will be glued all over again so I'm gonna put the glue just inside and a little bit around and then I will let it dry So I hope it's dry and I can move. So I'm gonna move the December again. Stay nicely. And I've got here last two pieces which I will glue right on the top. So first those two strips and here again uh, do not put there too much glue because then you can glue it accidentally also that numbered movable part so I'm gonna place this one here to make sure I can see a little bit of that frame on the bottom now I'm gonna place this I'm gonna take that second piece and I'm gonna glue it on my frame straight away I think it should work should be exactly yes so here on my frame and now I'm gonna <coughs> put a glue here put a glue here on this strip and place my frame around that number numbered rectangle and I'm gonna let it dry and what I forgot, I forgot to punch the numbers, uh, numbers, days. So I do have here, and I also added them to all that uh, that design, uh, letters. So I'm going to find the letters for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, etc. And I will place them uh, like December now started at Wednesday it was 1st of December so it was Wednesday so here I will place W for Wednesday T for Tuesday um, M for Monday till the end uh, I didn't add them to the frames uh, because you know not everybody are starting their week 
on the calendar with Monday as I used used to do with my first day on calendar is Monday but sometimes I see the first on the calendar the Sunday which confused me <laughs> I don't know why is there but it is there so uh, to make sure that you will have it the way you like uh, these letters on that sheet that will be like extra sheet are in the size uh, of the paper punch um, three eighths three eighths of inch so you can use that paper punch and you can add the letters for the days and also you know not everyone are using Monday Tuesday like in my language Monday is Pondelí so I will use P for Pondelí uh, for Monday Tuesday is Uteri so I will use U Wednesday is Streda so I will use S here and Sunday is Neděle like nothing to do exactly like nothing to do don't do anything Neděle that's all Sunday so this is my sharing for today I'm gonna <laughs> find those letters and add them here so this is my sharing for today I hope you did enjoy it even there was some flaws uh, make sure when you will glue that ring with that inside circle that you will put there enough glue but not too much because <laughs> I did glue that ring and I think I will have to unglue it dry both sides because there is still somewhere um, it's getting stuck so I think I destroyed a little bit that inside frame uh, and here are those days of the week how I, I used to count them on the calendar so this is my sharing for today uh, thank you so so much for visiting me today thank you so much for spending your time with me I hope at least you had fun with, with this project uh, if you will uh, like to uh, try it link for all these digitals will be down below they are for free so you can just click on it and download it to your computer thank you very much for all your support and i hope this uh, this holiday season is peaceful and uh, full of happiness for you and your loved ones i hope you are spending that time with all people you like with your friends and with your families uh, make sure you will make count every day in, in your life especially through the holidays make sure you will contact those people you love and i wish you to all of you most amazing days till the end of this year and that upcoming year hopefully will be m more more uh, happy and uh, prosperous and better definitely better for all of us i will come back soon before end of this year with one more project i hope you will enjoy that too uh, and then I will continue with uh, those projects with uh, those dies and stamps and all kind of stuff. Uh, thank you so much for visiting me today. Have a wonderful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.